Hello and welcome to another tutorial video on the Tysel High School National Honor Society Club Management System. This is video 11, I think, and this is on setting up the basic folder structure in Google Docs for the year to come. Now, what we have here is just an entire folder for NHS year 2011 to 2012. And as you can see, under that general collection for that year, we already have a tutoring sign-up sheet and a master's members list collection, which all members have to sign up to, and that's what you'll use for your base member sheet. So we'll go from there, and we're now going to start creating the folders for officers. The folder structure is going to be um, first going to just be officers, and then whatever folders they need under those um, collections. So we'll begin by saying create new collection and sorry if I said folders they're just like folders but called collections and first we're going to create the one for the president and I'll actually I'll show you guys how to share these collections with the various officers when I'm when we're after this video that's the next video so we'll now say okay so the president what does he need well he does a lot of PowerPoint notes so I'm now going to then create another collection called power point uh, we'll say meeting powerpoints that sounds better and the great thing about this is when we give them right privileges it'll automatically allow them to add their own collections and do whatever they want to their personal collection but not affect everybody else's so we'll just uh, condense that list we'll now create a collection for the vice president and right now vice president doesn't have any special abilities but he can he or she can uh, add whatever collections they want and share them however they want once the um, all the officers are cut up caught up with the system and how to use it so next we'll have um, let's see here we'll do the recording secretary no, we don't want a new document. Okay. For the recording secretary, and the secretary is going to need um, for this year. The secretary is going to be doing the meeting meeting notes and take tracking the hours. So we're going to create another collection under her called meeting notes. and another collection for community service hours. Okay, so that should be good for the recording secretary. And next we're going to add, um, we'll do, let's say, corresponding secretary. And that secretary is going to be doing uh, attendance for this year. So we'll create another collection and call that attendance. And next we have, let's see, we did that, that treasurer. And this is really repetitive, but it's necessary. So we have treasurer and we're going to do another collection called dues because the treasurer will track dues over the course of the year and that might include multiple sheets depending on uh, costs and things like that you can always not use the collection this system is completely flexible so we'll okay that and let's see if I've missed anything right now um, oh so we then have to just create um, a couple more collections for the historian and for the sergeant at arms and I'm not sure what they'll use those collections for the historian will probably use the Picasa account and view those photos and approve them and download them for the Facebook page 
but it's just so they can have a collection within our whole entire group to share documents and collaborate with us. So that's pretty much the basic folder setup. I'll just expand it for you guys so you can see what folders go where and things like that. And in the next video, we'll go about sharing these different collections with the officers so they can use them in their own personal accounts without having to have access to our actual entire National Honor Society account. So have a good day.